I'm Luisa. I'm Michael. And we're two vegans in Mexico. Today we're sitting outside the bank, ready to go into the ATM to get some money. And we want to tell you how that works. So stay tuned. So we want to tell you about the ATM fees and how to get money because we recommend that you don't bring a whole bunch of cash with you from Canada or the US because then you have to go into a bank or into a what's that called a money exchange place and they charge a lot of fees. And cash is king here in Mexico. So please know that you will need to have a way to get money out of the ATM. So we found that if we have one card for me and one card for Michael. If his wallet gets stolen or my purse gets left behind somewhere, then we have each other to back us up. But ATM fees or foreign transaction fees do add up. Yes, they do. That's why we use Credit Union so that we can get our fees reimbursed. We've also heard heard what, Michael? Yeah, Charles Schwab is a major bank and they um, reimburse for those kind of foreign transaction fees. One time when we were in Chapala, I took some money out of an ATM and I did all the fancy footwork there and no money came out. No money. So I took my card out and I tried it again. And guess what? I got charged twice and they took out the money twice, but I only got the money once. So then we called our bank and they said, oh, let's put a stop on your card. And they overnighted us another ATM card through FedEx at no cost to us because of the fraud that was on the card. So make sure that you know what your bank will and will not do because those kind of things happen yeah. and you never know when it might happen to you. So for the making of this video, we went to three different banks so that we could show you what it was like at each one. However, the video didn't come out very well because of the glare from the outside. Each of the banks is enclosed so that you can go into the ATM machine without standing on the street corner. Yeah, that provides a level of safety um, so that somebody won't come right up to you. But they do have those kinds of machines here in Vallarta that are on the street, yeah, on the side of a building. Them. We don't recommend those and we've heard that people have lost money that way because there's no bank attached to the machines. They just say the bank right. and then if you don't get your money or you get fewer dollars than you're, you're supposed for. to, you're done for. So we recommend going to the banks that the machines that have a bank attached to them right there so that if there's an issue, you can get your uh, money back or your card back or whatever it is. So one of the banks we like to go to is the one over in the Romantic Zone and it is, what's it called, the Intercambio? Yes. I don't know exactly what it's called. We'll put a picture up here. And it has um, a very secure outside place for you to go in through their little glass enclosed mm -hmm. place with lots the two machines. Cameras. Lots of cameras. Lots of people around so that yeah. one of us stays outside and makes sure that nobody comes in and the other one is in there doing their business. And then we went to another bank that we like out on the main plaza in Centro right by the main church. And that one is very nice and secure. secure and more modernized, so we like that one too. And then we also have tried the Intercom, which is down on the main road going into Vallarta. Each bank charges different fees to remove your money, and it's your money. But you pay a fee, a transaction fee, right there to the bank, and then also your own bank back home will charge a foreign transaction fee. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of icky. Painful. Painful. And there's but our no bank, standard. Yeah. yeah, there is no standard, but our bank reimburses us, so it doesn't really matter where we go. However, some of them will let you decline the conversion so that the bank doesn't tell you how many pesos you'll get for your dollars. Um, and some of them don't. I like to use the one that tells us we can decline the conversion, and that's the first one we go to most of the time down in. Zona Romantica. One thing that I find interesting is we've seen a lot of people go into these machine rooms and then they come out totally confused. <laughs> and I don't know why, because you can put it in English. But then yeah. you just have to make sure you read each page and there's no rush. You can read each screen that comes up and it'll tell you, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Yes or yeah. no. And it's in English. 
and in my opinion, it seems like there's a few more steps here. There are. But, you know, it is what it is. This is Mexico. And then you could um, regulate how much money you get out of the machine based on the currency rate. Like right now, you can get, um, what is it? 16 pesos to the dollar? 16, 17 pesos to the dollar. When we got here a year ago, it was almost 20, 20 to a yeah. dollar. So depending on when you get here, you might get more pesos for your money. But that's the way it is. And also, you will only get big bills out of the machine. So what does that mean, a large bill? Okay, large bills. Here is a Mexican 500 peso dollar bill. This one, <laughs> peso bill, this one is worth today $27 and 74 cents. 74 cents. Where before it was worth $25. So these are what you mostly get out of the machines at the ATMs. So most of the places that you go don't like to make change for these um, unless you're buying, you know, dinner or lunch for maybe 380 pesos or 400 pesos, then you can get your 100 peso change. So you have to be careful though because. The 500 bill and the 100 bill oh, are the same color almost. And sometimes you might get the wrong one when you really need to get 100. Also, there's a 200 peso bill. These are I like to get more often because they're easier to change. So as a last note, we just want to make sure that you realize bringing a credit card to Vallarta might be a good idea if you're going to go to the fancy restaurants but you're not going to get to use that very often. Cash is king here and pesos are king. They really, really prefer that you pay in pesos, not in dollars, even though people come here thinking the dollar is king. <laughs> but pesos are what people would prefer to get here. And we tip all over the place, but we tip between 15 and 20 percent. And that's plenty. Yep. And um, like Michael was saying, yeah, um, just be aware of your own surroundings anytime you use an ATM machine, whether you're here in Mexico or San Diego. Um, be safe so you don't have to be sorry later. And that's it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in a comment below if you'd like us to uh, review any other aspect of living here in Vallarta. Hasta la vista. Adios.